Hey guys, today is going to be a kayak project video. Haven't done one of those in a while. Basically, it started out because of this, my Hero 3 Black, the original GoPro that started my channel. Uh, if you watch my uh, uh, series about my DIY spear sling, actually the video that I shot those uh, two lionfish with it, uh, you'll notice in the video that it starts getting cloudy and then you can actually see water splashing in front of the camera. And that's not from me going underwater outside the housing, that's inside the housing. I had actually uh, pinched some fishing line in the housing when I changed the battery and that allowed water to seep in. So I figured this GoPro 3 was toast. I uh, did the rice and then I sprayed uh, corrosion stop on it and but I figured ah, I was going to be gone. It actually survived and it worked for a couple of weeks. But then I started getting an error uh, which was the uh, temperature light error, that overheat error. It comes up with a little thermostat and then it'll beep 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 and it shuts off. And you could turn it on, it'll go with that thermostat and shut off. It's just basically a safety for uh, preventing the burning out the circuits because these things get really hot when they're in these cases. Couldn't do anything, couldn't do anything. So oh, it finally gave up. Corrosion finally got it. Oh well. Had a good run, two years. So I went on uh, eBay and I found a great deal on a Hero 4 Black. Uh, just the camera and the bad original battery and cable for $130 delivered. Excellent deal. I was like super stoked. So I ordered that in. It was such a cheap deal. I figured I'll get the one year um, square trade warranty on the side and heck, then I have a brand new camera because it's got a warranty as well for a year. So I got that for another $18. So 150 bucks, I had a basically a brand new GoPro 4 Black. I didn't need the case because I still have the case from this one. So I figured I got that one coming. Oh, why not just tear this guy apart and just kind of see, maybe I could salvage it or just see what the inner workings are. So uh, yanked off the front cover. It has four tiny torque screws that I didn't have a screwdriver for, so I was about to order that. While I had it disassembled, I noticed that I did not have the original GoPro battery in it. I had a replacement battery in there. So I was like, oh, okay, well, took that one out. Maybe a fresh battery, got my original one that I generally use put it in there and it fired right up. No error. So, wow, what the heck? Okay, tried it, videoed, worked fine. So I, I ended up putting it all back together again, trying it, yeah, still worked, no problem. Uh, next day tried it, same thing. Uh, so then I took that replacement battery, stuck it back in there and boom, error, the thermostat error again. So it was the actual battery context must have had a problem, got jumped. So it was the battery, not the camera. So, oh, great. So now I've got that fixed. It's working fine. It's been working fine. But then now I've got this third GoPro Hero 4 Black. What to do with it? So that's what this video is going to be about. Project Kayak is going to be about getting multiple views, more cinematic type views. Uh, I did a video, a cloud video with a rocket kit guy from Australia about how to get those kind of cinematic styled videos and it's all about having angles. So that's what we're gonna work on today. Okay, let me bring you over here to my board of knowledge. All right, so I wanted to do is to come up with that cinematic style videos and I'm needing angles. So I needed something that uh, basically would give me the flexibility for a lot of different angles. So I figured I would create one of those basically video poles, but I needed it to be fully adjustable. So this is what I kind of designed up with first. Here's looking from like the back towards the front. So here's the kayak cross member. This is for my um, Alma and Aka for my outrigger basically, the outrigger arm. So I've got uh, a spare Scotty mount that I've got custom built from Pat R. Um, he builds these custom mounts for uh, the Adventure Island Hobies. So either for the cross members or for these uh, outrigger poles. So I've got one spare Scotty one there. So I knew I had that already. Then the reason I had is I had a spare um, Ram mount set up and these are all Ram products. 
uh, for my handheld GPS that I used to have on my old kayak. So I had parts for it, but I just kind of designed what I wanted to make. So it was basically a Scotty mount adapter ball, um, having the, um, the RAM basically union there. So that gives you full mobility right at the base. Then I'm going to go to a PCV length, PVC length as just the actual pole. Then have a, another ball at the end of that with another uh, extension there. And then have a GoPro uh, ball at the end of that. And that gives me 360 degree swing arounds and so forth. So that's kind of what the project is going to be. So I had that all mapped out, checked off the ones of pieces that I had, and then I knew all the different actual items that I needed to order. Okay, here is all the components for the project. Okay, uh, starting off with my new GoPro Hero 4 Black. Then we're starting off, this is that Pat R um, Hobie Adventure Island mounts for the uh, outrigger arms. So he custom builds this, basically this bottom plate with the um, collars and it mounts a Scotty ram mount on it. And those just basically bolt onto the, the bars. So it's going to start with that. I already had that. Um, then I had to get one of these uh, wedge, Scotty wedge ram mounts. So they basically slide in there. Then you screw it up and then it basically spreads and then locks itself in there. So that'll be the base there. Then I'll go to a regular linkage there. And then I've got the ball ends with just a threaded end on the ram ball. And how that's going to work is I've got these PVC caps because I'm going to use a PVC as my basic uh, extension on there. And uh, I've got the end caps. So I'm just going to drill a hole, put that at the end there, and then just run a, a stainless steel screw through there. And that's going to hold it onto the cap. And then the cap is going to go onto the, I'll glue it onto the end of the PCV tube. I'll cut it down to whatever length. And boom, there's that on there. So I'll have these on both sides. Then I'll go to, well, this is my old unit, which is the uh, GPS mount there. And then I've got a couple of these mounts, which are just the two screw ones, which I'm going to actually use as well for other mounts. Then I'll have another extension on the top that goes there. And then I've got a um, GoPro RAM ball, and that's where the GoPro will mount onto. So I should have full 363 degree uh, movement there. So that's all the components. So now let's get ready to assemble. Okay, I went ahead and mounted the uh, Pat R Scotty mount onto my outrigger arm there. Um, I just had to manipulate the little paddle keeper. This is where I stick my paddle underneath there, hold it and just mounted it to the mount. And that just wouldn't hurt as if uh, this ever broke off, then at least there's a safety latch there. So now we got to go to the next step. These are the little Scotty pressure mounts, I guess, whatever they call them. They basically have a spring loaded and then as you tighten it, they spread out and that wedges them. So you got to find the slot, drop them in and just tighten them down. And that's in there. For the end cap of the PCV, PVCs, and how I want to mount the ball is basically I just got a cap, PVC cap, drill a hole into it so it just I'm able to thread a little screw in there that'll stick out and then it becomes like a stud and then I just screw the uh, ball on there and that's basically the net result. Nice clean, it's not coming off, it's sturdy. Okay, the PC PVC pipe is done. So I've got the RAM mount mounted on the cap, mounted onto the PVC, just use some uh, glue there and it's all set. Here is the completed arm. So that's the Pat R mount, Scotty mount. To the PVC. And sticking out to the end. And I did want it cut off so it's not sticking out past the uh, outrigger arm there. 
so it stays out of the way when I'm transporting it, moving it. I'll probably get like a Velcro strap so I can strap it so when I'm transporting it or on the move. But there it is. And that configuration lines up perfectly, so if we're taking like the catch of the day type uh, photo there. So yeah, a lot of different options. I think it'll work out good. Okay, that completes our project. I'm going to actually call this my cinematic stick for all those weird cool angles. I actually do have, if you haven't seen before, is I have a telescopic... Uh, GoPro stick, so it basically allows me to extend out. This guy's real basic, but it made me a couple thousand dollars on that one video, the shark, shark tornado video. Uh, and I like to use this for my underwater shots as well in the high elevation. It just didn't give me a lot of variable options and it was a little hard to try to get it into angles. So that's where this uh, cinematic stick will really come into handy. Now, one thing I want to do is uh, really put out a big thank you to a couple people. Uh, that's James Wright and Andre Zina. Um, they basically are sponsoring this video and the cinematic stick. Uh, they put up some big solid cash there uh, covering the uh, GoPro Hero 4 and the full build there. Uh, and it really helped me out during the uh, Hurricane Irma fiasco there where it kind of shut down the channel for a bit, as well as YouTube and their stuff they were doing to me. But uh, really helped out, uh, very big contributors to my Patreon uh, support. So thank you guys, very much appreciate it. Uh, anytime we see any weird angles, uh, you could thank James and Andre for that. Uh, one other thing, uh, the post guy actually just dropped these off, so I got these things to open but I'll hold that off till uh, next video or two down the road. I don't even remember what these were actually. I am kind of burning through that uh, Patreon cash though. Not leaving a lot for the Coke and hookers. But if you want to support Coke and hookers, maybe hit my Patreon account and uh, support that. Just put it in the notes there. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that's the video. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll be doing some test videos here shortly so you can kind of see how it works out. I, need, I definitely need to play with it a bit. But uh, yeah, look for some cinematic style videos coming up. But anyways, once again, thank you for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.